but he feels so so bad for the message that he's been sending so let's listen millions of dollars from the time i was 16 all the way to this point in my life and i woke up one morning i was like damn they got me man look at the shit i spoke about look at the shit i put in these people ears man i feel very wrong about a lot how many lives I actually am responsible for when they come to my music? How many kids and people have gotten them caught or put this shit in their ears and actually hurts me? And now I'm sitting back like, damn, I can't do it all in one day. I um, clean whatever I can clean, but it's going to take time. Yeah. I'm just flooded with me. Oh, man. So you hear my boy? You hear my boy? Uh huh. So what's your thoughts on that? That's just an epiphany. It's just an epiphany. After a while, you actually sit there and you notice, like, see, we in two different shoes, but at the same time, it's the same feeling and it's the same thing because in his shoes, it's like, yo, I made millions off putting this in my music, but at the same time, people going out there doing it, losing their lives. Because when a person go kill somebody, two people die that day. The person that died and the person that did it. Even if he don't go to jail, like, when you take a life, you don't care no more. Like, it ain't about it. Something, something in you, something in you leave. It leaves. So... After a while, you sit there and you notice, like, damn, like, I'm perpetuating the cycle. Your, your, your conscience start coming in, like, I'm better than this. Why am I doing this? What's the point of still doing this? So that's probably what he's going through, like, I can respect it, because when you get to a certain age, you get tired of the bullshit, you just want to live life. What you're doing is not living life. Violence, gangbanging. You gonna go kill somebody because they from another block? And most of the dudes that do that listen to music like that, like because they relate to it, because that's what they doing, and that's perpetuating the same. But let me ask you a question. Just on him. Let me ask you one question. What do you think about the tone of his voice? Do you hear how he sounds? It's like he's in pain. Yeah, he hurt. Like, it hurt him. It's like when your eyes open up. Yeah, like, you feel like his soul, his eyes open up. You feel it. Yeah, that's why. But at the end of the day, you have to be destroyed to grow. What did he say? Like it was death. It's death when you take a life for yourself too. So he literally realized that he's been walking death. And that's what I've been saying too about our community. We're walking dead. People think they're living life, but they're not. We're literally, as we talk about falling for the propaganda, going into these lifestyles that these lifestyles not even real. It was literally created by a music industry that's not ran by us. So our tone of who we are, our essence, our culture is built on somebody else's perspective. And he's just now realizing how many lives he he, he calls to be demise. Let me give you an example. I was just thinking about something. Now, I was listening to this song back because the kids like, you can listen to old school song. This old school song, it's called Happy People. 
happy people. And when you listen to it, you're like, oh, shit. But then in the back of my head, I'm so programmed because that song was recreated by Tupac. And that song is now, Can You Get Away? It's like so much pressure in the air. I can't sing it all because they're going to copyright me. But when you listen to those two songs, you get two different vibrations, but it's the same kind of tempo and beat. So what they did, what I think they did through music is change a whole generation. Because when you think about mom and grandpa, or you know, our, our mother, they grew up on that. So look how they are now. They grew up on happy people. Like they have a different perspective of life. Me and you grew up on gangster rap, Tupac, Scarface. Look how we behave. Look how we think. So then it make me just think about, look what our kids are growing up listening to. Can we imagine how distant they're going to be from from loving and caring, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, that's where the music is leading us to, to hate and sex and murdering. And it's literally our music. There's no other genre of music that does this. 